On June 15th, as Chinese and Indian troops clashed at the Gowan Valley area along the border, dozens of lives on each side were killed and injured. The US News & World Report cited the US intelligence agency on June 22nd, revealing that General Zhao Zongqi authorized his troops to attack Indian soldiers. Zhao Zongqi is chief of the Chinese Communist Party's Western Theater Command and one of the few current generals with combat experience in the Chinese army. Zhao was born in 1955 in Bing County, Heilongjiang province, with his father Zhao Nanqi serving as a member of the CCP Central Committee. After he joined the army in 1970, he followed his father's career and became a member of the 18th Central Committee of the CCP in 2012. After his promotion to the rank of general in 2015, he ultimately took over the position of commander of the Western Theater Command in 2016. U.S. intelligence also revealed China's previous clash with India at the Sino-Indian border in 1962. Zhao stipulated that as the CCP cannot show weakness to other countries, especially to India and the U.S., the clash with India in 1962 was a lesson to teach India. As a result, it's no surprise that according to the U.S. intelligence assessment, the deadly and controversial clash at Galvin Valley was not likely caused by increased tension. Unlike the clash in 1962, this attack seems designed to intimidate India and stoke nationalist sentiment domestically. The attack on June 15th started with an Indian senior officer and two unarmed officers arriving at a delegation meeting planned with the CCP to discuss withdrawal matters. However, they were immediately ambushed and attacked by dozens of CCP soldiers who were waiting with mace, sticks, and batons. After India called for reinforcement, the two sides evolved into a fighting melee. India confirmed that 20 Indian troops were killed and 76 people were injured, but China has not disclosed any specific casualty figures for the time being. According to the Indian government sources, the number of Chinese casualties are similar to that of India, with all officers and deputies dead. China and India reached an agreement in 1996, agreeing not to use guns at the border and to avoid blood as much as possible, but Chinese soldiers during the clash were seen using iron rods with nails to kill Indian soldiers. This violation of the agreement caused fury among Indians. Nonetheless, Gowan Valley sits between snow-capped plateaus, and with its sparse population, details of the conflict that night remain largely unknown. Casualty numbers remain unagreed, and causation of conflict remains undecided on three possible scenarios. Regardless, the Indian government has now authorized its army to act in its best judgments against the CCP army and will ship more troops and weapons to its border.